kingdom brand ministers male and female that will rise all over the world i saw the vision so that God so gave for this 2023 election, make we get our mind ready, guys. And Pharaoh, this is your first time of watching that Joseph interpreted as a type of this revelation where there were seven fat calves and there were seven lean ones, and the smaller ones were swallowing the bigger ones. The Lord said. He will raise up some nobody, some, some ministers who are nothing. And their rising will swallow those who have failed him. And so it's also going to happen politically. He will rise up nobodies. And their rising is going to swallow the bigger ones. twenty three this year if you had followed me from twenty twenty one you have followed me twenty twenty two I said to you before the primaries election of Nigeria of those political parties and I said Wike is a factor and Tinubu is a factor. Don't misquote me. The ruling party should not be over courageous because I see the fight of two lions especially in the gubernatorial election in some states there will be a win here and there will be lost here and there will be a gain here and there will be lost here don't underestimate the labor party don't underestimate them these states, I will mention them, and I'm not going to say anything, but we should watch out and pray as this election goes. Kaduna State, Benue State, Plateau State, Abia State, Cross River, and Oyo State. Let's watch those states strongly, strongly. As this election is coming up this year, those parties who are holding the state should fight well and not be overconfident so that we don't have surprises. I will leave it at that. States like rivers, I just see the people sitting there, sitting there. Lagos, I still see the people sitting there, sitting there. After the election, we have to pray. And Nigeria should not experience battles, tension. We should pray that the outcome of this election let's pray 
against fire heartbreaks in major market in Nigeria. Peter Obi must work hard on his security as a person before the election and during the election. Twenty twenty three after the election is going to be a turning point for Nigeria. Contrary to the prophecy you are receiving, Nigeria will gradually bounce back, irrespective of the tension that will come during the election and after the election nigeria will bounce back the new government that will come in will take drastic measures that will create tension there will be cry left and right but it will lead to sustainable economic growth that will shock us there's going to be strong exposure of secrets that this current government maybe even mr president might not know that his appointees this is what they have done to be a mystery the cbn governor should pray very well hard time are coming ahead of him mazinam dekanu he will be released but he has to pray for his health he has to pray even after his release to have that where we die the strength indeed the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak let's pray for him Namdekanu must fight to stay alive, especially he must think about his health. Very important. The voice of the Igbo man will be heard sometime, some hour in God's divine calendar someday. the APC presidential candidate he will suffer sensitive betrayal sensitive betrayal tough ones but it will not change anything overconfidence is dangerous sometimes God uses the foolish things of this earth to confirm the wisdom of the wise. Peter B is a man with a mysterious destiny. But a prophet is without honor except in his own kindred. Mighty betrayer. 23 is a year of mystery. The people who will strengthen you might be the people you are despising and the people you are embracing will be the people that will betray you governor wiki his political destiny is not yet over 
he will play a major political role in the destiny of this country I'm not speaking to entice you but the star is on his head somehow there's something ahead but please pray and watch your health and be careful so that you don't become a sacrificial lamb through poison it's very important those you see when I say he is a factor you can see what is happening he is a factor whether you call it positive or negative is a factor even after this election we pray that people who are declared winner should pray that they should enjoy the arena they should not be rushing abroad continually for medical treatment it's very important very important you may abuse me you may insult me i receive it i'm a messenger i will still tell you what i want to tell you the seat of power of this country where with due respect to all our excellencies our presidents who have who have been president and the one there now the seat of power there is a spiritual cause on that seat there is a force I know you will tell me it's not obtainable i know you are elite but there's a cause that make men who have something to do for this country enter there and they are not able to do it it's a force the seat of power you see that place where they stay and call it the power there are a power that stays there before they come there are unforeseen power that changes and convert good intentions of good leaders it is after they live there their eyes become open and they begin to say i was supposed to do like this like this god will clean nigeria Most African countries should pray against attack on their democracy so that their democracy should not be truncated. I see military intervention in most African countries. Between now and 2028, we need to pray that African countries democracy should be sustained that we should